wait, hold up. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you guys' video. But I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for the great feedback and attention that my last video did. The Addict Music Video reaction has over 1,000 views and we gained over 11 subscribers. That is the biggest growth I have ever, ever had. Especially like video-wise and subscriber-wise. So I want to thank you guys. You guys are amazing. This community is amazing, and the comment section of us talking about the lore and different theories we have about the video and concerning Has Been Hotel is absolutely amazing. Again, guys, I want to thank all of you, and that means all of you, even the ones that are not subscribed, for taking time out of your guys' day or days to watch my video. And I'll stop talking. Let's get right into the video. Everybody's here with me. Two videos back to back? Has Nerdy Kai finally gone insane? Hey everyone, Nerdy Kai here. Today we're going to be going over, or should I say reviewing, the addict music video from Has Been Hotel, or should I say Silva Hound. As my future self has just stated, thank you. Like, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you guys enough for the attention that my last reaction video got. It's well over a thousand and we just hit 260 subscribers. Wow. I didn't know that we were actually going to get like at least 200. But when I found out that we did reach 200, I grew some confidence in myself. And not just inside of me, also outside. That sounded pretty creepy. Oh shit. So all these ideas and theories are not coming from me. They're actually coming from you guys. That's right. You. Do so you guys have been sending me your comments? and your theories, and the overall meaning behind this music video. So without any further ado, let's get into the review. So the first thing that I want to touch up on is that smoke that Valentino uses. That pink smoke, as I've been told by people, is the smoke that actually controls Angel Dust. Maybe it puts him in some kind of trance or some kind of state that makes him unaware of what he's doing. Or maybe it just makes him more pleasurable or puts him in like a weird mood. And there's not much to go off after this. He's just dancing on the pole and everything. And we also catch a glimpse of the dude from the car, from the pilot. Really cool easter egg there. As we can see, he's also using the smoke to get Angel's attention. We can see right here, he kind of like grabs his neck right there. And then there's the dude again, he kicks him. <laughs> and um, then there's just Angel on the floor and he actually inhales that smoke. and. He somehow goes into this like, I don't know, like pleasuristic state where like he's in a different like, I don't know, like I said, state of mind. And then we catch glimpses of Cherry and Angel in bed, you know, and Angel's having a real tough time and Cherry Bomb's just comforting him. And um, as I've been told, and I do fully agree with this, a lot of fans worldwide, is that Cherry Bomb is truly the only person that gets Angel. She and... Angel share a really good bond together, a really strong friendship, and the two are practically made for each other. Well, not like that, I meant, uh Then we just see Cherry Bomb uh, blowing up some stuff on top of a roof. We get um, a look inside of the limo, we have these two girls making out, and then Valentino takes Angel Dust and forcefully kisses him. And after this, um, we get a scene of Angel inside of his room, he's frustrated, crying, and then we get a glimpse of this fine fellow, which I never knew about. This is in fact a character from Zoophobia. Wait, what was his name again? Izzy, that's the name of him. Okay, I couldn't remember. This was one of the comments that one of my uh, viewers slash subscribers now, thank you for subscribing by the way, uh, she states that um, this could possibly be um, a person that Cherry Bomb worked under. He's being implemented into Hasman Hotel, which is kind of cool. We have projects crossing over. But thank you so much for that information. It really helps us out. And especially me, who was a little confused about that. <laughs> After this, we catch a glimpse of um, what's about to happen. There's a bunch of TNT and bombs about to be set off on this roof. And uh, she sets it off and jumps off the balcony. And then Angel and Cherry Bomb have a music slash dance number. Again, Angel, you clean up real nicely. I would like to take this man out for a cup of tea one day, honestly. And then they blow up the uh, 666 studio, which um, I believe it's canon. Like if it's canon, that'd be really cool. Like if this was a canon music video. And what I'm wondering is that 
Does this take place before or after the pilot? Because we don't really know much information about like when this takes place because obviously there's a 666 studio and I believe that building is owned by Valentino. So maybe this was after the pilot. Once we find that out, we can find some more information on what is going on and what could possibly be the first official episode and what it brings in the full swing. Then we get a, well, I guess I should say sneak peek of the inside of the hotel, more of it at least, like the hallway decorations and the, the door numbers, obviously, and the, just the overall interior design of like just a single hallway. And then we get to see the pig. I can't even remember the pig's name. I'm so sorry. I'm dumb. I love this thing. It reminds me of Waddles from Gravity Falls. And as I said in one of my comments, I believe that like, you know, this pig, is a glimmer of hope, or should I see like a light at the end of the tunnel for Angel Dust. That one thing that he has that shows him true love without having to put on a show or be this different persona or be under drugs or alcohol or any other substance abuse. And at the end of the music video, he states that maybe things won't be so bad at this new hotel. I mean, maybe he will find sympathy, but I don't believe he's gonna stop sinning. I mean, obviously, he, he loves sinning. Some of his hobbies include, you know, having sex and doing drugs and alcohol and hating on people and flirting. Those are his hobbies. This is, this is the stuff that he likes to do on a daily basis. Heck, he even flirted with Alistair. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! Ah, no. Your loss. But anyway, that was my review of the Attic music video by Sofa Hound and Vivzy Pop. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, hit subscribe to see more of this reaction slash review content. I love doing this for you guys, it's a lot of fun making these reaction slash review kind of material because it's just fun dig digging deeper into these music videos and possibly, you know, finding out different lore, making up new theories. Did my camera just move for a second? That was weird. Comment down below to suggest more reactions to me, or to ask me a question, or to inform me on any more lore that I don't know about. You know, spread the word, even though if it's, you know, something as simple as saying that, you know, this character is this, this setting is that. And again, please tell me, and if anyone knows the information, when does this music video take place? Is it before or after the pilot? Please let me know, or I won't be able to sleep tonight. At the time that I'm recording this, it is 11 o'clock at night, so whenever you're watching this, have a good rest of your day, or night. Peace out, guys.